Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today in this video I'm going to be showing you how I co-wash my bundles and this texture is Brazilian Deep Wave. You can also use this um, co-washing method for curly hair as well but today it's going to be Brazilian Deep Wave from Clay Hair Company. Now the first thing you're going to need is a wide tooth comb to brush out your bundles while the conditioner is in there. The next thing you're going to need is conditioner. You can use any conditioner you want. I like this Pantene Curl Conditioner. And then you're going to need a shower cap or a plastic bag. I use this to place my bundles in while they deep condition and set. You're also going to need some scissors to cut off the paper and the rubber bands around the bundles. So the first thing you're gonna do is take off the paper. I take these off, you don't have to, but I choose to because when they get wet, I don't want the paper breaking up inside the hair. So you're just gonna wanna do this with all the bundles that you have. And you're also gonna wanna leave the rubber bands on the bundles just so it's easier to wash them so they're all together and not loose. All right, so once you've taken off all the paper from the bundles, this is what they should look like. And I'm just gonna set them aside and you're gonna want to work with a clean sink. Um, you're gonna be setting your hair in there so you don't want any leftover toothpaste or anything like that inside the sink because it will get in your hair. So just clean out your sink. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do is grab one bundle and just get it soaking wet. Now. As you can see here, I wasn't really getting the wefts wet, um, mainly just the hair. So you're going to want to make sure that the water is going all the way through the bundle. Don't worry about getting the wefts wet, like I said, just mainly the hair. And you're just going to do the same thing with all the bundles that you have. All right, so once your hair is pretty soaked, you want to squeeze some of the water out and then you're going to grab your conditioner and you're going to want to use a pretty generous amount because you're going to kind of want to saturate the hair a good, a good amount. So this, that little um, squeeze that I had in my hand was mainly for one bundle. So I'm just going to put it over the whole hair and kind of massage it through and as I'm massaging it I'm just sliding it down the hair not getting it on the webs or where, where the rubber bands are but mainly just on the hair and at the ends and you're, wanna gonna, and you're gonna want to go in a downward motion just so there's a least amount of tangling as possible and you're just going to want to do the same thing throughout all the bundles. Just saturate the bundles with the conditioner. All right, so once you've covered all your bundles with conditioner, you wanna grab your wide tooth comb and start detangling the hair. Um, they shouldn't be tangled at all really since you haven't really messed with them too much. But if they are tangled, as you can see, um, this bundle had a little bit of tangling at the, end of the, at the end of the hair, but not too much. 
So what you're going to want to brush the hair from the bottom part and then just work your way up. And yeah, you're just going to repeat the same step throughout all the bundles that you have and just detangle the hair. Now this right here is kind of an extra step you don't have to do. I um, grab all the bundles together and then put even more conditioner just to make them fully saturated with conditioner so they can really get um, covered and have a good sit while they are um, deep conditioning. You don't have to do it, you could have stopped at, after the brushing of the bundles and then let them sit, but I just, I feel better when there's tons of conditioner so I really know that they're you know, getting really conditioned. And as you can see right here, there was some shedding. Um, not too bad, but curly hair, you are gonna get shedding. So I did get a little bit of that. So after that, you're just gonna wanna set your hair inside the plastic bag or inside of the shower cap if you'd like, or you don't have to set it inside anything. You could just set it aside, but I like to do it this way. And then just, you're just gonna wash off your hands and let the hair sit for about 25 to 30 minutes. So after your hair has been sitting for about that long, you're gonna want to grab one bundle and with cold water, instead of warm water, the cold water helps to seal and lock in the moisture as opposed to warm water opens the follicles of the hair. So you're gonna to wanna to use cold wa water while um, rinsing out the hair. So here I'm just showing you, I'm running the water from the rubber band all the way down to the tips of the hair um, in a downward motion again, just to avoid tangling. And yeah, it's pretty simple. You're just gonna to want to make sure that the conditioner is rinsed out, make sure that the water is getting inside of the middle of the bundle, just not on the outsides, because once you untangle the or um, unravel the bundles, uh, when you want to air dry them, you don't want a big glob of conditioner in the middle that you missed to rinse out. So yeah, just be careful with that and make sure that it's fully rinsed out. So you're just going to repeat the same rinse process with all the bundles. Once you uh, finish rinsing out the bundle, you're just going to set it aside and just grab your other bundles and rinse them. And while I'm rinsing the bundles, I also like to grab my wide tooth comb again and just brush them out again. All right, so once you've rinsed out all the conditioner from your hair, you're gonna want to grab your leave-in. Um, you can use conditioners, oils, or serums, like I said. Um, I like to use argan oil. I actually ended up using this argan oil, putting it in um, a spray bottle with some water, and then just spraying the, the um, hair while it was unraveled and hanging up. Um, but as you see right here, I'm just going to use the oil by itself and just run it through. I'm going to tell you right now, uh, in this hair specifically, I kind of had a bad experience with, um, when the hair got wet. When I, when it was time for me to take off the rubber band and unravel the hair, I don't know if it was just this hair or just my package or I don't know if you've had bad experience with this hair smelling but when I took off the rubber band to unravel the hair to let it air dry I couldn't get over how bad the smell was from this hair I don't know if it was the rubber band but it had a very strong smell of chemicals so I don't know if if I just got a bad batch or what but um, that was a major thing that stuck out to me so I actually had to, um, after this whole process, I had to shampoo the hair 
and then deep condition it one more time after shampooing it. Normally you don't want to shampoo curly hair um, because you want as, as much moisture as possible. You don't want to dry out the hair, but with this one I, I, I kind of had to. So yeah, right here you're just going to see me cutting off the, the rubber band, getting ready to um, air dry it. But I had to do the shampooing and conditioner with this hair specifically, which, which was unfortunate. But yeah, um, so in the next clip, you're going to see the hair hanging up. This was actually before I re-shampooed it and uh, reconditioned it. And I'm going to show you right here, one of the tracks was actually pretty significantly shorter than the other ones. Right there, I'm showing you um, the difference in the length. So this is the three bundles hanging up right now. And I'm just running my fingers through it. There was no tangling while it was up, so that was nice. The tangling wasn't bad at all, but the smell was um, the main thing that I just couldn't get over. So I had to shampoo it and then condition it again. But this is the hair after it's air dried. I actually made a wig out of it. So this is the hair on the wig. Um, this is about two and a half bundles and also an 18 inch closure. The hair is really pretty. I do have to give it that, that credit. Um, this is with the argan oil and water spray in the hair. So it makes the hair really shiny, really pretty. So I, I really love how it looks. But I think the smell was the only con of this hair that I have to say so far. But overall, the hair is really beautiful. The deep wave texture is really nice. And yeah, that's about it I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helped you out on how to co-wash your bundles or just uh, curly hair in general. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.